Okay, what is intermittent fasting doing for your brain? I'm gonna answer that question on this video. So welcome, for those of you that are new to my channel, I'm Dr. Mindy and I am on a mission to get a million people fasting. You will see fasting is incredible for healing the body and I can't wait to show you specifically why intermittent fasting works so well for the brain. So if you're new, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And those of you that share my videos out, again, just your comments, your being on this journey with me, I just love bringing you guys these videos and I appreciate deeply you sharing them out into the world. So let's get started. Okay, intermittent fasting and brain health. This is really important because a lot of people come to intermittent fasting because they wanna lose weight. And yes, there's a lot of great things that can happen in the weight loss world with intermittent fasting. But what I really wanna point out is that there are five changes that will happen to your brain as you start to intermittent fast more and more. Now, if you're not familiar with what intermittent fasting is, go watch the video I did on what is intermittent fasting so you can kind of understand the terminology because there, are, there is a lot of nuance and there's a lot of different versions of intermittent fasting. So I wanna make sure you're, you understand those versions. So go watch that video. But for this video, we're gonna go through five things and what intermittent fasting does for your brain so that you can get this thing working for you, not against you. Here are the five. One, the ketone. We love the ketone. When we start to make that switch over from sugar burner to fat burner, how we know we're in fat burner mode is when the body makes ketones. Ketones not only go up into the brain and kill hunger, which is amazing, right? That makes us uh, able to intermittent fast a little longer, but they also will go up into the brain and they will start to repair neurons. So neurons are like, think of them as highways of information. So it's what's t sending information across from neuron to neuron to neuron so that you can think clearly. You've got trillions of neurons in your brain. So each time you switch over and you get ketones, what ends up happening is you start to repair these neurons so they work better, they carry better information, they don't leave you in the, that place of brain fog or memory loss. One of the most important things you can do to overcome memory loss and, and brain fog is to get more ketones. So number one is ketones. Okay, number two, what intermittent fasting does is it stimulates autophagy. Now remember, intermittent fasting is this general term that's often used for all kinds of different length fasts. But if you go 17 hours in a fasted state, you are pretty much guaranteed to be stimulating autophagy. And autophagy is the cell's ability to clean its act up. It, we can think of it as self-detox, we can set, think of it as self-eating, but really when we're using intermittent fasting for brain health, when we dip into that 17 hours of fasting or longer, what we're doing is we are helping repair these neurons so they can start to work more efficiently. If we look at something like dementia and Alzheimer's, that's where these neurons are shriveling up and they stop sending information. So when we apply intermittent fasting to our brain health, we can actually get into this state of autophagy, autophagy. We clean those neurons up and now they start working for you. And, and again, not against you. So second one is autophagy. Okay, third one's legitimately my favorite, which is BDNF. BDNF is brain-derived neurotropic factor. It is fertilizer. Think of it like miracle growth for your brain. There is great clinical evidence that people who are depressed have low BDNF. And there is great clinical evidence showing that when you stimulate BDNF, you start to grow new neurons, specifically in the prefrontal cortex, which is the part of the brain that helps you achieve goals, gives you hope and possibility. We like the prefrontal cortex. So we want baby neurons there. We don't always want them in the amygdala that tells us fear. So BDNF, when we start to fast, and now, there are a lot of different styles of intermittent fasting that will increase BDNF. One of the most common ones is intermittent dry fasting, where you're going 12 hours without food or water. That really upregulates BDNF and will get your brain new baby neurons and get you thinking more clearly and expanding your brain's ability for uh, cognition to hold in information. 
Okay, fourth thing that intermittent fasting, it doesn't stop there. This is why I flipping love intermittent fasting, is the fourth thing is that you, as ketones are gonna go up, as you intermittent fast, you're gonna get some GABA. We love GABA. GABA is the neurotransmitter that calms us and chills us out, which is why when you talk to a lot of fasters, they'll tell you, gosh, you know what? When I fast, I feel more at ease. Well, that's actually, there's some chemical truth to that. It's because you're getting more GABA and GABA will calm your brain. So yay for that and intermittent fasting. Fifth thing, this is maybe my favorite. I know I keep saying that, but literally I'm a dopa dopamine addict for sure. And intermittent fasting, what it does is it can reset dopamine pathways. Now, remember the way I like to use the term intermittent fasting is we're just time restricted eating. So when we want to reset dopamine pathways, oftentimes we have to go into these longer intermittent fasts, like 48 hours of fasting. There's great clinical evidence showing that a 48 hour fast will not only reset the dopamine pathways, but open up more D2 receptor sites. That's dopamine receptor sites that will allow more dopamine to go into the, into the neuron and into the cells so that you experience more joy. So five ridiculous things. I mean, this is free, you guys. Like it's, this is in your body, it is free. So all you've got to do is start to experiment with compressing your eating window and elongating your fasting window. And you can get these five chemical changes in your body without spending a dime, without having to take a supplement. It's in you. That's what you're capable of. And that's why I love intermittent fasting. So if, you, if this is new news to you, let me know. Let me know if this was helpful. Five things, ketones, autophagy, BDNF, GABA and dopamine, you can, you can give those to me all day long and I, it'll make a more joyful brain and I can make it, we can all do this just by compressing our eating window. So in the comments, please put if you've seen changes to your moods, to your mental clarity, through fasting, intermittent fasting, put it in the comments. So we are a community here. This is how we learn. So, and I love reading your guys' wins, fasting wins. But brain health, there's just no better tool that I know right now um, for incredible brain clarity and moods than intermittent fasting. Hope that helps.